Britons have reacted with fury to reports Tony Blair is eyeing up a de Gaulle-style comeback. The former Labour Prime Minister, who has been vocal during the coronavirus pandemic, has reportedly held secret talks with Health Secretary Matt Hancock to offer strategic advice and mass testing and vaccines. Mr. Blair is also said to have spoken to Baroness Harding, the head of NHS Test and Trace, and Steve Bates, who sits on the Vaccine Task Force. A source said the ex-Prime Minister wanted to follow in the footsteps of Charles de Gaulle, who became French President 13 years after leading France out of the Second World War. But the reports of a comeback by Mr. Blair prompted a furious reaction from some Express.co.uk readers. Commenting on this website, one blasted, he just will not go away, will he? Another brutally hit out, has he asked the public if we want him back? No. A third insisted, I will not vote for any party that gives Blair a role. Another commented, keep this man as far from government as possible. A fifth said, I would trust any used car salesman first. One more added, the man is deluded. A friend of Mr. Blair's claimed he feels he could make a positive impact on politics. They told the Sunday Times, Tony believes deeply, as do many of the people around him, that he left office at the peak of his powers. He got better at governing as time went on. Ten years later, he is definitely animated by a burning feeling that the British governance is inadequate. He feels that he has the drive and ideas to change that. The friend added that after spending 10 years making money the former prime minister has no shortage of that now and wants to re-establish his reputation. A spokeswoman said Mr. Blair has spoken privately to others in government and is happy to help in any way he can. The ex-prime minister has repurposed his think tank, the Tony Blair Institute for Global Change, to focus on coronavirus policy since the outbreak began. Mr. Blair was quick to call on the government to delay the time period between first and second vaccine doses in order to give more people the initial jab. And earlier this month, he set out a plan to vaccinate more than half of the population by late March. The former prime minister insisted the UK's vaccination programme needs to accelerate dramatically.